Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Georgina. I'm a 29 year old tech girly living out in the countryside but working in London. I'm in the tech software space and I have been for a few years now and I have been loving my nine to five work routines and how much I'm spending in the office videos that I'm doing across YouTube and TikTok. So if you haven't seen any of those, I will link them up in my video and also in the description down below or just hop over to my channel so you can have a look they seem to be people's favorites so i'm gonna keep doing them and if you have any other questions about what i do or anything that you'd like to see i'd love to hear your feedback and let me know but for now this video is going to be showing you what i get up to in my five to nine after my nine to five and i'm going to take you along with me it is the end of the working day for me. Here is my little work outfit. There's no one in the bathroom, so I'm just filming. I've changed into my exercise gear. Very simple, all black, just leaving the office. And I need to pick up a few things from Lululemon. Before I get to my class, I need to have some grippy socks for the specific Pilates reformer class and I didn't have any and I forgot them and left them home so I was just browsing I actually ended up picking up the wrong socks but hey ho this stuff is good I actually used not these specific ones but different lululemon socks to run the marathon in so I trust their stuff I was just having a little browse I was loving these sort of like loose tops they have a lilac range in all of the garments and I'm obsessed this black align top is on my birthday list and I love this sort of aubergine purple one. Oh, so beautiful. So I'm doing a new reformer class today at One Rebel. They've got quite a few of these around the city and they do all sorts of different classes. They do spin and they do like sculpt and strength, but this is the reformer class and I'm just putting away my kit in the lockers. I've heard so much about One Rebel and I'm seeing them everywhere, so I thought I'd give it a try. I'm just trialing a class pass. And of course, my first ever Reformer Pilates class at this specific gym, I'm at the front. <laughs> so I took it in my stride and guys, it was like a party. It was like a disco. The lights were so cool, as you can see here. They changed their lights depending on sort of what exercise you're doing. I really enjoyed the instructor. Her name was LJ, I think. Very different to the usual Pilates classes I do, like at Bamford and they're very light and airy and have more of a wellness feel whereas this was definitely more like hardcore workout sweating i am dying you can see me here struggling to walk up the stairs and i am running to the train i normally would have sort of taken my time and get into my cozy evening wear and have a shower but there was a specific train that i thought i might be able to run and get and the earlier I can get back to my little family, the better. So I chose to do that. And I did leave a little early from work today. So I'm just picking up my laptop on the way home on the train and catching up on emails and anything that I've missed. And it's about an hour-ish home. So I can get a really decent amount of work done. But this is the part that I am so looking forward to is seeing my little cute baby Labrador. She is so cute. This is Maple. If you're on my channel for the first time, she's nearly two years old. She's a fox red Labrador and she has the wiggliest bum. <laughs> Hello, I am just taking a break in the voiceover and now that I'm home and not in the public or in the office, I can just talk through my evening. So you would have seen just me packing up and going to the workout class. It's my first time doing One Rebel. Safe to say I absolutely loved it. It was such a good class. The music was cool, the lights were cool. So I am now converted and I will be going when I am in the office. I didn't have a shower there because I wanted to catch a certain train. So just put on a bit of deodorant and my coat and prayed, <laughs> uh, but it wasn't too bad. But now I'm home, I'm gonna take off my makeup, have a shower, put a face mask on. Andy is so kindly doing dinner. He is kind of the chef of the two of us. So I know that in most people's like five till nine, after their nine till five, so they need to cook dinner. I'm very grateful like he's doing that right now. 
So I'm just gonna do some laundry and then I think I'm gonna watch a few minutes of Anna Pump Rules because every Wednesday the new episode of Anna Pump Rules and the Valley is out. If you don't know what that is, it's basically Bravo, Real Housewives trash, but I absolutely love it. I had to do some work on the train, so I made up some time doing that as I was just filling in some elements that I missed when I was doing my class. So yeah, I'm gonna hop in the shower. It's not hair wash day today, so I'm just gonna whack it up in a bun. I'm gonna use my Emma Hardy cleansing balm. I showed this in a few other videos but I absolutely love this stuff it's basically just a thick balm and it kind of turns into an oil when you put it into your skin and it takes all your makeup off and gets the whole day off I love taking a shower in the evening after I go into London because I can kind of take off all of the emissions and the atmosphere of good old smoky London so I'm just going to take off all my makeup and jump in the shower put on a face mask and then finish with the rest of my chores. So here is Andy's amazing work making tacos and they were so so good. Honestly this is my favourite meal and <laughs> probably a bit too much mayonnaise for me but you know I just did a class so I'm allowing it and I am making Maple's dinner. We do the butternut box for her if anyone else has butternut box. Honestly it's such a lifesaver for maple the food is so good for her and we kind of mix it in with dry kibs and we make sure that she eats at the same time as us more or less because it sort of distracts us and also here's my other pet who's having a bit of cheese he is the luckiest cat in the world he always makes an appearance when we're eating dinner because he's the greediest kitty i don't know any other cats that aren't greedy but we're just watching this country it's one of my favorite shows ever i've watched it from the beginning to the end about three times now it kind of is pretty accurate towards the countryside it's just fantastic and a genius program if you've not seen it it's on bbc iplayer if you're able to watch it and i'm just loading the dishwasher mabel has to get her nose in just to see if she can just help us out with the dishwasher at all she's always around this is my little snack box for after dinner i have a huge sweet tooth so i have to have something i am trying to be good i am kind of sneaking a little snack in there but i'm trying to eat more dark chocolate as it sort of prevents me from eating biscuits and milk chocolate and things that aren't so healthy we always make extra food so we can have some for lunch the next day whether we're going into the office or just having a work from home day it just means that we can spend less time in the day making lunch and more time working or walking maple or just doing other things and I'm just unpacking my bag from the day. I've got all of my dirty laundry. I have my laptop. I have my toiletries. I just like to take everything out at the end of the day so I know where everything is. And if I need to do any laundry, I do not want it sitting in my backpack. So I'm just grabbing all of that and getting some laundry done. At about 8.30, 9pm, I'm upstairs and I'm just doing my skincare after I've had my shower. This is my current lineup. I'm loving Ren at the moment. My skin is super, super sensitive, so need that E45. I've had a bit of like an eczema flare-up girls, guys, whoever, if you feel me. This is my NT bottle. Ren, if you're watching this, I would love to work with you because I buy your products so much. <laughs> I genuinely love this so much. It's such an amazing range of products if you do have very temperamental skin but yes this is my little time to just do some skincare and really just rub it in and take a few minutes for myself and finish up with the laundry
I mentioned when I was talking to you in the bathroom that I was gonna watch some Vanderpump Rules. It's probably about 9.30, nearing on 10 now. And I'm watching my guilty pleasure TV. It's such rubbish and I have Maple here. She's not normally allowed on the sofa, but she was being so cute and I just love playing with her little legs. And we had a little cuddle. And yeah, usually she's not allowed on the sofa, but today is one of those days where I just cannot say no and just have a little cuddle with her. Time for bed. I've just got these new Sleepy Dough British made cotton pajamas. I absolutely love this brand. I 100% recommend. It's extremely soft, amazing quality cotton. I actually got these in the sale. I have another pair as well, and I 100% recommend them. Honestly, they're so nice. I'm before bed, just picking up my book. This is my library book. I'm not really getting on with it well, but I'm one of those people that has to finish it. I can't finish a film or a book halfway through. I have to see it all the way to the end. And then just before bed, I am doing my Duolingo. I'm currently learning Japanese. I think I'm on like 120 days, more or less, streak and it's getting quite hard now but I'm just learning the written part of the language which I'm finding really really difficult but it is so good to just do two to five to ten minutes a day I'm just slowly building a habit it's also part of my 2024 resolutions to have a 365 day streak so I'm nearly halfway I think and I've got some friends on here and there's a bit of competition and the gamification of what all so yeah, that is the end of my video and I really hope you enjoyed.